Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our membership workshop. We're going to be talking about the five things you need to be doing now to think about recruiting going into um, the fall, even though summer has just begun. So happy summer. And as you're enjoying those summer days and having your cup of coffee outside, start thinking about the things that we can do now to be prepared for uh, recruiting more scouts this fall as we start school up again. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. I have just a few quick slides. And it's always a search. Okay. There we go. trying to make this go full screen now. So I had to go like little tiny screen on me. All right, so I'm sharing part of the slides that um, of a webinar that National actually put together um, with some recruiting topics that I thought was um, really helpful and just wanted to kind of give this as a reminder or, or uh, some of you may be seeing this for the first time, but there are membership and marketing webinars that National have routinely done and they're available with this QR code. Um, they're um, the membership and marketing webinars on the scouting wire. And they do have the escape the indoors, but we are um, now using the slogan adventure on. So definitely use that hashtag when you're sharing photos um, and social media, um, you know, news, um, adventure, hashtag adventure on is the new slogan. Um, when um, you go on to scouting.org slash recruitment, this is the national recruiting page, and you'll find the webinars there too, as well as some other tools. Our page is General Webster Council's Membership and Marketing Hub, which um, I'm gonna bring you to in a second. The BSA Brand Center is also a great spot to download um, all the images, videos, anything that you um, would possibly want. So if you don't wanna use your own images of scouts, or if you don't have a lot of images and you just need some quick fill-ins for social media or even in your emails or in your newsletters, um, all these images are great and you can share a lot of the videos um, on your Facebook pages as well. Um, they have, um, National also has a welcome back kit on our membership and marketing hub. We also have a um, so-called digital kit where you'll find suggested email copy to welcome new scouts, suggested text copy, social graph, um, graphics and social photo frames. Those are on the BSA Brand Center as well. Um, and they also have social media calendars that will help you plan out your social media posts as well. One of the things I thought was super helpful is looking at your plan kind of like a menu. Um, so, you know, you're kind of setting the table for great recruitment. Um, so, you know, we start off with the annual planning conference, which hopefully a lot of our units have already had. It's June 23rd tonight. If you haven't already had it yet, hopefully you'll have it this summer. And you want to plan all your unit meetings, activities for the coming program year. And this will really let parents and other adults know um, what their kids will be doing throughout the year. And also, it will make it easier for you to plan these events as recruiting events and really backdate that so you can promote those on social media, get those out on flyers to um, you know, schools and, your, and, and within your community to really promote these upcoming events because the goal really is to have almost every event also act as a recruiting event. So you're always inviting new families in. So you're not doing extra work when it comes to, oh, we to you know, create these special separate recruiting events. The events that you have in your unit think about them as recruiting events as well. Um, set up your unit pin. This is really important. Your unit pin is um, the listing that appears on beascout.org. And this allows prospective members to find you online and apply to join your unit or find out more information. If you're not sure how to do that, if you go in the membership and marketing hub, there are beascout.org tutorials that bring you through updating and managing your pin step by step. Um, set up the online registration. So make sure that your unit pin um, has a selection where um, there's like a little toggle 
and you want to make sure that you are accepting the online application. So make sure that that is um, turned on. Um, we have press release and um, media alert templates on the membership and marketing hub. The press release template is, um, is it's practically all kind of written out for you there. You just kind of enter in your unit's information and um, what you guys did within your community. Um, this is a great way to um, tell the media what you have done. So it's usually like an event or a service project that you did, and then you're alerting the media of what you already did. The media alert is alerting them ahead of time. Hey, we're going to be at the Nashua Soup Kitchen with our scouting for food, you know, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 100 pounds of scouting for food collection on this day. Um, this is our content information if you want to have an interview or, you know, meet up at us, you know, meet up there and, um, you know, take pictures. So the media alert is alerting them of something that's coming up. The press release is informing media of what you already did. And again, that's on our membership and marketing hub as well. And we're also very happy to help you write those too. Make sure that you get into those school publications. I know a lot of our schools um, it may be hard getting into in terms of sending out flyers, but maybe you offer to do a, um, you know, a scouting minute or a safety moment in um, the school calendar or on the website or listed in the lunch menu um, or even in the event program. Maybe there's something that you can offer um, that is educational to the student or the, or the school community. Um, and then, you know, it gives you the opportunity to, to write at the very bottom, you know, um, find Troop 19 on beascout.org. Or if you want to join scouting, go to beascout.org, right? Um, just those little things that we're, you know, partnering with our schools, but at the same time getting the word out that, that scouting um, is there and ready to invite more families. Um, don't forget your poster and flyer campaigns. So um you know coordinate with local businesses to display um a scouting poster we do have some posters that you guys can utilize um you can promote your pack or your or your troop or an, any of your units and you know think about the places where your parents would go um earlier um josh was talking about how we're gonna um get some flyers into pizza boxes you know how many families order pizzas and you open up the pizza box and there's a flyer to join to join the next scouting event or to join the unit. Um, you know, maybe you get flyers into your local public libraries. Um, don't forget to post on forums like, um, you know, Front Porch or Nextdoor, you know, those apps that neighborhoods use. These are free services. You can post all the time about what your unit is doing, the cool things you've done. You can add pictures and then again, add you know, maybe your BScout.org URL link so they can click on that link and go right to your unit. Um, you know, social media, in addition to um, being, um, you know, a great communication tool, it's also free advertising as well. And it's just a great um, outlet to constantly post pictures of everybody having fun, of the community service that everybody, um, that, that you guys do in your community. And, um, and reminding people that they can join at any time as well and how they can join or find out more information. Um, so the five things to do right now is to connect with the leaders in your unit and your COR. And you know, talk about that plan, come up with your programming calendar year and decide what events you're gonna make recruiting events and how you're gonna go about making those successful. Reach out to the schools in your neighborhood. So schools are closing down for the summer right now, but there's still admins that work part-time in the offices. Sometimes the principals also work um, in the offices over the summer. And it is a slower time, obviously, for these schools. So it's a great time to connect and say, hey, as we're you know, closing down this year and thinking about goals for next year, how can we partner with you to help out on a project? Maybe there's a special project within the school that you can help with, or maybe you can help update their playground or paint the blacktop or um, replace the basketball nets or create a buddy bench. There's a lot of things that we can do to partner with schools 
without asking them to do more things for us. I think we're often in the habit of asking schools to hand out flyers, asking schools to let us in to do a recruitment night, asking schools to distribute, you know, some other tools or things that we have. Instead, let's reach out and ask the schools how we can partner with them and help them. And then you build that relationship and that trust so they're willing to share the information that you would like to share with the community. These bookmarks were created by a fellow leader and these are on um, the uh, BSA Brand Center as well. And bookmarks are also a great way to get into schools. I know um, it's, they have Read Across America Week or Dr. You know, they celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday for a whole week in the schools and bookmarks would be the perfect thing to bring into schools and say, hey, we have the, these bookmarks that your kids can use. You have your QR code there at the bottom, um, going to your units, be a scout pin. And um, it's a win-win, you're helping the school or even if you distribute them in your local libraries during that time, um, it's a great way to get the word out and to um, give them something that the kids will use. Um, if you don't know what a beascout.org pin is, Please go in the Membership and Marketing Hub, watch all the tutorials, contact, contact us at membership at nhscaling.org. I am more than happy to walk you through that as well and update those pins. Make sure the contact information is up to date, where you can add more details below the pin listing. Make sure you write in your meeting date, your meeting times, and specific things that your unit enjoys doing, because this could be, make the difference of someone just looking at your pin and scrolling by and clicking apply now. Make a list of friends to personally invite. So parents, leaders, and scouts, you know, at the first meeting you have, or even over the summer, as you're meeting up for some summer fun events, hand everyone a piece of paper, maybe at the top of the paper you have like name, phone, email, age, or something like that across the top and have each of the kids and parents write a list of at least five friends. And those are the list of friends that they're gonna invite to the next few meetings or events that the unit has. The reason why we wanna say bring a buddy is because 53% joined scouting because of a personal recommend, recommendation from someone that they knew. That's a huge amount of people, you know, when you think about that. So um, I think I said 53, it's 59.3. Um, that's a huge amount of people. So really one of our most effective ways of getting folks to join is to invite them. Again, using social media is key. You want to post very often, even throughout the summer, don't go dark over the summer. The summer would be the most important time because you want to build up that audience and you want to get people excited, invite people to some of your summer barbecues or gatherings that you're having over the summer with your unit. A casual meeting is the perfect time to get that family involved and in getting to know your kids and the parents and really talking to them about how they can also help um, when they join as a family as well. Erin um, is here and I know Erin is our resident social media expert and I'd love it Erin if you have any comments about you know utilizing social media feel free to dive in uh okay thank you sorry <laughs> I just have to get back my video uh no I just have to think I, I want to say if units often ask me about social media because our unit is so active on social media we mostly use Facebook I'm still working to try and find some people to maybe want to do an Instagram page because that's where the youth are more at but Facebook is where the parents are. So, and those are the people that are driving our scouts to and from. And we use that regularly. Uh, like Cindy said, we post regularly. And if you don't have something to post about your own unit, you can always share stuff. But that has been probably the most valuable tool we have had for being um, reached out to by potential scouts and actually getting people to come join our unit is a combination. It's that Facebook page. Uh, Cindy mentioned about the uh, beascout.org uh, and the pin there. You have that option of linking your Facebook page and our website, which we, we've done. And so between those two things, I mean, that's really, I think that's the way to catch them because they can see our Facebook page. They can see the type of trips we do. They can see the smiles on the youth's faces. They, we have things not just about trips, but you know, our regular meetings. Like we have pictures of our older scouts doing leading training with our younger scouts. And so really showing that edge method and showing what scouting is all about, right? It's the older youth 
the higher ranked youth and helping to lead those younger youth and showing that youth led youth involvement. Um, we put up pictures about PLC meetings and just their planning, but putting that out there, I think really gives that visual that of what we do. And it's not just words, which you get on, you know, a lot like the be a scout or even sometimes your website. So um, I just think, you know, social media is definitely the way to go. And if you haven't done it, um, I'm available to help anyone anytime. Cindy is, uh, you know, there's a bunch of us in around that can do this. So, um, you know, I definitely just ask questions and reach out. Thank you so much, Erin. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, the other tools that we have, as I mentioned many times, and um, I know you guys know, are all in the Membership and Marketing Hub. Um, and one of those tools, which I'll share here too, uh, was just posted on the Membership and Marketing Hub, and it is our Unit Recruiting Checklist. And this is a one-page checklist to make it super easy for um, for our um, leaders to keep you know, on hand or even just download onto their devices. Um, but it's our fall recruiting checklist. And in August and September, it just has some key things to keep in mind. I won't read them all off to you, but the top one being meeting with principals or the school admins to discuss your partnership like we talked about earlier and submit your fall join scouting event dates by August 31st. This will get you planning over the summer and really think about, like we said, it can be the events that you guys already have scheduled out and you can decide how to make those into successful recruiting events. And then that way we'll have the information um, to help you and give you the tools and resources that you need to really help make that um, make sure you're getting flyer approval over the summer, maybe the best time to do that. Um, and then request from us the flyers that you need to distribute in schools, you know, get those flyers out that first week of school, if you can, maybe the second week of school, get it out nice and early before those families commit to other extracurricular activities. Um, and then I'll October. Just as I said, one, one of the other things to do with those flyers, if you know you're sending it into the school and you know what day they're going to hand them out, if you know you have scouts that go to those schools or that school, have them wear the Class B t-shirts if they have them. The more that it's exposed, like, oh, you're part of this, I got a flyer, they'll recognize somebody that's already part of that unit or the unit that might be of an interest. Um, so you're hitting it in two ways. You're seeing it in the hallway when they're going from classroom to classroom throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, if they're getting the flyer, say, hey, that looks familiar. Oh yeah, I remember Jason or Emily had that t-shirt. It had the same unit number. You know? So if your unit has class B t-shirts, have them wear it during the same time um, while they're walking around through their school day. I love that. That's a great idea. And, I, and to piggyback on that idea, you know, maybe you spread it out to the whole unit, right? Like if they, you know, maybe you have a, a day once every month or something that the unit, maybe on your meeting day, maybe on your meeting day, you ask your scouts to wear their class B t-shirts to school. And when kids ask about it, say, well, we're actually meeting tonight. Why don't you come, right? And have them carry some of those bring, bring a buddy cards with them and invite those kids to the meeting later that night. Um, it is a great conversation piece. I totally agree, Josh. Um, I know they don't allow hats in schools. Our troops have um, like the Troop 19 red hats. Those always catch attention too. Um, but yeah, definitely wearing your class Bs. And, um, and you know, I, I think wearing them on a meeting night is a really great idea because then it, it kind of alerts them like, hey, tonight's a special night. Come join us. So I love that. Um, in October, we do have this spectacular returning at Camp Carpenter um, on October 22nd. So save that date. Units will be invited to decorate their campsites. There'll be like a competition and uh, folks will be able to trick or treat um, to every site and get candy as well. Um, and then again, host a Bring a Buddy Fall Halloween event. So think about this event maybe, um, you know, after the spectacular, maybe during um, your units meeting that next week leading up to Halloween. So that way, if your unit is at the Spooktacular and we have the public coming to visit, you can hand out little um, invites to folks to come visit your unit at your Halloween event. 
Um, don't forget to follow up with leads and the invitation application managers in your BS Scout uh, in my dot scouting, um, which come from your BS Scout pins. Be sure that your new scouts register online via your unit's pin. Online is the easiest, most effective way for folks to register because the pricing is all right there and it's almost instantaneous and there's no fear of um, you know, exchanging the hard paper copies between leaders and, and maybe they get misplaced and all that stuff. So online is the easiest um, way to register. So definitely try to have your units pin handy. Um, attend the workshop in um, October, November, of course, the membership workshop. And um, a heads up that holidays around the world, that event, um, which used to be Cubs, Cakes and Claws, will be at Camp Carpenter again this year. and. I believe that was December 3rd is the date. It is on the council calendar. Um, so save that date as well. And then on this same sheet is a membership and marketing hub. So you can always scan that right from here. And the bscout.org invitation manager for um, Daniel Webster Council. So there's that. And then on the membership and marketing hub, we do have um, lots of resources available as um, units are thinking about recruiting and retention and um, going into the fall. And I'm going, I was gonna pop that site up for you. As long as I have too many um, tabs going on per usual. All right. This is not our site. <laughs> Here we go. Um, that is not ours. Hold on one second. My computer is locking up. There we go. It's just um, Working really slow today, my apologies. Let's see if I can get it up here. Well, it may not happen, let's see here. Are you guys seeing a blank screen? <laughs> yes, it's acting very um, suspicious today. Come on, you can do it. All right. Please hold, we are getting there. So on the membership and marketing hub, you can download that unit recruiting list. Um, you can um, download the fee chart, the membership fee chart, which is really helpful because it has um, the registration and the new, the joining fee and the insurance cost combined, and also has it separated out as well. And I know a lot of unit leaders often, um, you know, it's like, oh, this month, like what, how much does it cost this month? This, uh, having this chart printed out, you know, especially, oh, of course, um, the page isn't responding at the moment. <laughs> It's still going around. Oh, here we go. It's coming back. Um, so that's um, something great that you can just print out um, or bookmark. So that way, when folks ask you how much does it cost to join, um, you're able to call that up and let them know how much how much it is to join um, right then and there. So here's the resources and downloads. And as I talked about earlier, the bscout.org and online registration, this is where all the um, tutorials are. And they're really great tutorials. They're step-by-step -step tutorials, really easy to follow um, to help folks update and manage their pins. And the resources and downloads. Let's see how long it takes to, to load that screen. I think I have to delete some things from my laptop. Um, there's the unit recruiting checklist up at the top. And then um, we have the district activities calendar here. 
And we also, the planning your scouting year that is, um, that has different QR codes to different calendars that are important to planning out your year. One of them being the council calendar. The other one is the mobile base camp. Um, and there's um, also a volunteer link as well. So as you're planning your year, you can work those events into your calendar. And here's the fee chart I was talking about. And um, you can download that or just have it handy. Um, you know, your membership chair within your unit should definitely have a little binder and the membership fee chart and the recruiting checklist and the calendars so it should definitely be um, handy to them. And then that way as folks um, ask questions, they will have that information available um, at their little membership table. Um, there's instructions on how to search the BSA Brand Center. So that way you can find all the tools that you need on the National uh, Brand Center. Um, there, are, there is a link to national uh, forms and applications. And here's that template that um, we were talking about this earlier. Um, we have a welcome to scouting email template. And um, I'm gonna attempt to open that up. And this just makes it super easy because you can copy and paste this into a Word document and add your unit specific information. Uh, welcoming um, the scouting family in and kind of giving them um, basic information. Let's see, it doesn't like that one either. It's really um, getting angry with me today. <laughs> we'll see, I'll move on while it's trying to load. Um, we have a mobile base camp recruiting guide and um, that is little tips and best practices on how to recruit with the mobile base camp. Um, and then um, a new family onboarding letter as well. And that is more of the Cub Scouts kind of filling in information um, about the unit and their Cub Master or their, um, you know, and, and their den leader and things like that. So it kind of um, has them get to know um, who the leaders are in their unit and the week, the days that they meet and things like that. So it's kind of a fun activity for the Cub Scout. Um, they had me download the file. That's why it was taking a while. So that should open shortly. Um, and then we have um, a welcome back to scouting unit resources here as well for families that may have dropped. And then the unit membership backdater is also really important when you're planning your scouting year and when you're planning recruiting events, because that will help you plan ahead and it will also help you see where and when you should promote the upcoming events and things that are going on in your unit. Um, let's see. Okay, it's really getting angry. Let's see if it'll open it. <laughs> Sorry about the del delay today. It's been very, um, Temperamental. It was getting temperamental earlier, and I was definitely um, let's just move it away from the shared application. Well, um, I don't know why it doesn't like that. Um, and then um, it has a ton more resources you see. You see here. We talked about earlier the um, unit media advisory template and the press release template, those are right here. And um, they also have, um, you know, all sorts of things, setting up your pin, all of that, social media guidebook, all that fun stuff. Um, I think that's finally opening now, so it interrupted me. <laughs> so there's a lot of tools. It's basically your membership and marketing toolkit all online. And I definitely suggest um, while you're having coffee, while you're, you know, on your lunch break, while you're taking a minute, just to browse through the membership and marketing hub um, that, that, you know, get familiar with it um, as you're preparing um, for the fall. Let's see if this will open now. Well, oh, it says it's processing. I almost gave up. <laughs> Oh, here it goes. I hope it lived up to all our expectations with the weight. Oh, I, th I think we should have had a drum roll. Um, so um, this is the letter and see it has uh, where the yellow is. You can put in your unit specific information. 
And um, I actually do have to update this. So I'm glad I opened it because now it's Adventure On. Um, I mean, we could still say Escape the Indoors, but we are using Adventure On now as well. Um, and you can put in your unit type and number. Our group would like to invite your family to our next event slash meeting on this date and time. So this is for, this is an email that you would send to someone that um, either inquired about your group um, in person or through a friend, or they were they're in your invitation manager through bscout.org and you were thinking of something to say, uh, you know, to email back. Um, this does have the bscout.org um, discount code, which that's gonna come back later in the season. So um, I, again, will update this. So it's, it's obviously accurate. Um, so um, they have, you know, a, a link to the applications as well as our member care center address. And then we also um, tell them about Granite Base Camp because some folks, maybe they're not ready to join a unit quite yet, but it's great to introduce Granite Base Camp as a stepping stone because they can check out the scouting program and enjoy what scouting has to offer without the full commitment yet. Um, but it definitely opens the door to a lot of our families. Um, then we explain about um, what Scouts is in, in the next um, few, paragraph, few paragraphs here. And, um, and then we tell them how they can join and the information there as well. Um, you might wanna, at the end, um, we included um, the fee chart there as well, the fee infographic, but you may want to include at the bottom all your contact information too again, so that way they have your name and email and phone number and all that fun stuff. So um, that is the down and dirty on the templates that we have. Um, I'm again, more than happy to help folks write press releases or media alerts um, when they have some events coming up or community service projects that they'd like to share with um, the public. And um, as you scroll down in the membership and marketing hub, um, if it wasn't giving me so much trouble, I would go back, but I'm afraid. <laughs> as you scroll down, there's program specific downloads. So you'll see for Cub Scouting, um, Scouts BSA, Venturing, Exploring, there's um, different um, downloads available under each program. So that way, if you need videos for Cub Scouts, that's another Cub Scout section. If you need videos for Venturing, there are some videos for Venturing. And those are all things that you can um, download and utilize um, for social media or, you know, or send out um, within your newsletters. There's images as well. There's um, recruiting playbooks. There's all sorts of tools that um, are program specific too. So it kind of keeps everything in one spot on our membership and marketing hub. Does anyone have anything else to add or any questions? No? I just I would suggest if you have a rainy day, just scroll through it. Learn something yeah, there's new a lot of day. stuff there. Yeah. <laughs> always enough stuff there, but you know, it, every day I always kind of scroll through some of that stuff you're showing and so it's like, oh yeah, I remember that. And that, you know, now I'll send it to somebody through my unit that hey, you want to take the lead on this? This this is up your alley. You know, some of this stuff you just don't realize until you see it again. So take a, a rainy day or whatever. Hey, I hear Friday. This Friday is going to be kind of rainy. It's a good day to start scrolling through some of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That, there's a lot of tools there. And um, if anyone um, doesn't see something that they feel they need, that that would be helpful, please email us at membership at nhscouting.org because I would love to hear um, what would be more helpful. And, and we can definitely get more tools up there for you as well. Um, it's not just geared towards, you know, the adult leadership. If you have a senior patrol leader, have them look at it too. You know, those senior patrol leaders or assistant senior patrol leader, let them look at some of that stuff because it really it is up their alley to figure out how they want to run their and recruit out of their own unit. And if they're able to use some of that tool to help out the lower units and underneath them at the pack level, you know, let them help out the pack. You know, units that are hurting for that support group, you know, for recruiting, well, reach out to the troops if the senior patrol leaders have seen some of the marketing tools, you know, so we kind of get in this rut thing when the adults have to do all the behind the scenes stuff. 
body troop levels don't have to let the senior patrol leaders see some of this marketing stuff. And some of them, you never know, it might spur an interest for a career down the road, you know? So, so use as our learning curve. That is true. I often ask the older kids, you know, well, what made you want to join our troop? You know, what gets you excited about scouting? What are the things that you enjoy? Because you know, as adults, like we like certain things and we go ahead and plan certain things, but it might not be what the kids necessarily, you know, would think is cool or fun. So it's important to ask your kids, you know, even the Cub, the Cub Scouts, I mean, you know, it's important to ask them too, you know, if you're recruiting for, you know, your pack, you know, one, one day at the beginning or at the end of a meeting, hey, what made you join the pack? What, you know, what, what made you want to join scouting? You know, and um, those are great little snippets. You can even use their little quotes. You could just post a quote with like a background or a picture on your social media, right? And say, you know, I love Cub Scouts because I love playing outside or I love Cub Scouts because I love making my Pinewood Derby car or whatever it is. And, you know, the kids, the little kids have the cutest of quotes, not to discriminate. The big kids are cute too. But, <laughs> but you know, you could really utilize those quotes with social media, you could utilize them in some of your marketing pieces. You know, if you want to make your own flyers, you can, you know, um, ask the parents if, if the kids mind their pictures, or you could use stock photos from the BSA Brand Center. But a lot of folks can tell a difference, right, Aaron, between the stock photos and like real pictures. And I think folks love seeing the real kids in the real units. Um, plus, if you're distributing in schools, kids will be like, oh, that's my friend Charlie or Emily or, you know, Sam or whoever it is. And they recognize those kids, which kind of makes them want to join more, right? So you can have kind of pictures of those kids, have a few little quotes like, you know, I joined because blah, blah, blah. And I joined, you know, and um, testimonials are one of the, still the best ways to advertise, most effective ways to advertise. And those are little testimonials from our customers, you know, from the people that we're trying to, impress and, and keep around, right? So um, definitely. Look at it in a way it's like a Yelp review. If you have your yeah. small, small yep. one minute thing, of course, like at the PAC level, what did you, you know, why did you join? Oh, my mom just made me. Well, you can add on to that down the road, you know, at the troop level, same thing. You can always add on, you know, two videos every year. Why did you continue in scouting? And if you update your pin, and it goes to your unit Facebook page. What's the first few videos that are up there are those Yelp reviews, you know, same ideas. Those videos of a minute and a half worth of a little clip mm -hmm. of a local scout. And I gotta say, I look at a handful of them and I gotta say, well, I did not know that person was in scouting. And then I eventually reached out like, hey, small world, you know, but think of it as a Yelp review. You know, I don't know who uses Yelp anymore, but. <laughs> But it's the same concept. Uh, the peers will recruit peers, adults will follow suit. You know, it's again, it's all family program wise. So use those videos to your advantage. And I wanna say 95% of us use face, Facebook page that are on Facebook, we use it often, where the last generation probably to use it, the other kids don't. So if you're asking the other kids, especially at the troop level, they're on completely different social media sites mm -hmm. than we are. So if you have those senior patrol leaders, they might find different ways to market into those social medias yeah. that you might not be familiar with. You know, so it's always let them take the reins. Less work for you as long as you're supervising to some extent. Right. <laughs> but again, it all comes down to those little clips. Keep it local as much as possible. Because I can honestly tell you, like what Sydney was saying, I can tell them that's not from our around here. We don't have palm trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I prefer seeing those pine trees and say, oh, that's Camp Carpenter. I've been there. And my kids will see the same flowers. Like, oh yeah, we're scouts. I know that place, know that place, know that place. So it does hit a lot when you do local as much as possible. Definitely. I agree to that. I don't know where Aaron is because it's still light out. Where are you, Aaron? <laughs> It's still light out. Where are you? Me? Yeah. You know, drink it. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's like, what? I'm not. Like, <laughs> right. like, you're, you're still. It's pretty light out. 
where you are and it's pretty dark. I know it's dark. It's dark. In <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we're going to get like a thunderstorm. I, I thought dark. she was going to say something else for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's nice and bright. It's very gloomy. Yeah. There. It, it's <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 